Hello and welcome back to AJM Learn. Uh, today I want to show you how to create a custom social media feed and place that on your Squarespace site along with showing you how to create a more custom social media page on your Squarespace site. Um, so in the post, you'll see uh, both in the description of the video and in the post correlating post itself, um, you'll see I'm referring to this specific elf site set of widgets. Um, there's tons out there. Feel free to explore on your own as well. This is just my favorite. It's super customizable. It works really, really well. It updates automatically. It's just really, really great. Um, so this is kind of the one I've chosen. So that's what I'm in right now. Um, if you click that link in the post, it'll bring you directly to this builder. So from the start, you'll be able to start exploring all these options. So I've already gotten it partially set up so you're not watching me do all the ancillary stuff, um, but I'll go ahead and walk you through it. So I've chosen the one, and this is all in the post, I've chosen the one where it's gonna mix all of my, social, all of my socials into one feed. Um, for me, I mostly use YouTube and Pinterest for work. I didn't want to like throw my personal Instagram in here. So uh, I just included those two, but I've chosen this feed that mixes everything. I think it's super cool. Um, if you're not really focused on like just Instagram or just videos or just whatever it is, if you have a mix, I think this is a really nice way to mix those things together um, so people can see a little bit of everything because you just never know what they're going to click on. Um, so I've gone ahead and I've connected my Pinterest and my YouTube. You can add your source and here's all your options. So really all of the main um, all of the main socials you can add here. You can even add an RSS feed, which is great. So you can add all of that there. Um, under sorting, you can sort by publication date or randomize. Publication date kind of makes more sense. Um, I chose to randomize only because I've taken a little bit of a break from Pinterest as I'm republishing some stuff. So long story short, I've randomized so that my Pinterest stuff shows up because I had so many videos before anything from Pinterest was showing. Um, so you have that option. Uh, layout. You have all these options here for your layout. You can customize it. This is really, really great. So you can just, you know, choose how many columns you want, how many items per page, et cetera. Um, you'll see I've kept mine pretty standard on the example, but this is really great because you can make sure it's, you know, as long or as short as you want it to be. I'll also show you on the page when you plug it in, um, you'll be, people will be able to load more as well. So you're not just stuck with the amount that you choose. Um, you can choose grid. So if you're going with like just Instagram or if you have all square posts on something, um, LinkedIn's doing a lot of square posts now, this might make sense. For me, masonry makes sense because they're all different sizes because I'm mixing, you know, really horizontal videos with really vertical uh, Pinterest posts. Um, you can choose your width. I chose full width. You can adjust this. Um, if you turn this off, you could set a custom width. Um, I went full width here. So you can play around with all those settings. Um, the post itself, this is cool. You can scroll through these, choose how you want it to look. You'll see it, you know, actively change here on the page. I've chosen this one. You can obviously go into customize like anything else and take things away. So if you want to get rid of the photo name, text, just all of that kind of thing. I love how customizable this is. It's super, super cool to me. Um, action on post click. This is great. So it'll open in pop up or you can open in social media. Um, which is cool if you really want to send people, you know, traffic to your social media accounts. If you open and pop up, you can customize how that looks. I'm going to change to open and social. Uh, your appearance. So you can choose dark mode, light mode. I'm a big dark mode girl. My whole website's dark mode. So I tend to navigate toward this. So I'm in dark mode. You can choose your um, accent color, which only shows up in small areas. It's usually like the link, which you can't even see here. Um, and you can customize a bunch of elements. So all of these, you know, your text color, link colors, all of that. So shadows, I've chosen, you know, my corners are rounded here, whatever you need there. Um, load more button. Uh, that style, you'll see that more on the page as when I show you that. But basically at the end of the feed, there's a little load more button, which is great. So they can keep learning, loading more and more, but they're not just all on your site, making your site really long. Um, you could add custom CSS if that is something that you're into. Um, your language, add, add custom JavaScript. That is very much past uh, what I know how to do. Uh, cool. So if you go to publish, mine's already published, so um, it's not going to take us directly to the page. When you click publish, it might take you to a view plan page like this. If this is your first one, just stay. Mine's, this is my current plan. Stay on the free plan. You get one free widget. Um, you can always upgrade if you want your call, if you want more, and to get rid of that like badging. Um, but your kind of main social feed page, or I'm sorry, your main widget page will look like this. If you go to install, you can just copy that code. So over here, I'm in my kind of AJM sandbox. Um, I've already installed it, but I'll just go ahead and show you. I got some stuff 
started on this page. So again, you weren't watching me do everything, but basically you go to add block, you would add your code block. I've already done that here. I stretched mine all the way across the page because I do want mine to be kind of like full width. Um, but basically just inside of this code block, you're going to drop that code here, just paste it right in. Um, mine didn't change because it's already, it was already there. A couple things to show you before I want to jump into making a couple customizations to the page. Uh, it's really great because when you're logged in, you're the only one who can see this, but you could easily just click edit widget. And it's kind of pop you right back over to this page. So you're never like, oh my God, what's my, like, how do I get back to where that is? Um, and what's really great. So let me go into edit. This is the most obvious one. So let me go into the layout. So let me say I change it to grid. If I click publish and I go to my Squarespace site where I have it plugged in, I refresh. It's going to automatically update. So you can see now it's gone into these square shapes. So you don't have to replug this in. Let me publish again, the one I like. Um, you, you can make edits right in the widget on Elf site, and then it's just going to automatically update on your page, which is the greatest thing in the world because it's so annoying to have to keep coming back and repasting like new code. Um, so it's automatically going to update whatever you do, which is amazing. So I have mine set up to show, I, I think it's 12 or something like that post. You can edit yours however you want. And what's great is you do have this load more button, which you can customize. And it keeps loading, I assume the same amount more, I'm not really sure, but people can keep loading and loading, which is awesome. So they can just scroll and scroll here as much as they want without your whole page having to be like crazy long. So super easy and fun to build that out. Um, there's lots of, again, links in the post about if you want to do just a LinkedIn feed or just a Instagram feed or whatever. Um, real quick, I'll show you how I like to do my social media pages on Instagram. So I'll go ahead, again, I've started a few things here, but in this block, I'll go ahead and just like add a background. I'll do this quick for the sake of time. I'll just, you know, add something um, from the stock options here. I'll go ahead and do dark overlay. Um, let's say, you know, I want a big title that says social media. You know, Adrian, social media, um, whatever, however you want your hero image to look. Obviously, this is totally up to you. Let's center that. Um, of course, I would, you know, make this look better, but you get the idea. Let's add a little overlay so we can read it. Cool. Okay. Adrian, social media. Cool. We can see what page it is. Awesome. Um, from there, what I like to do here, and this is, again, totally going to be based on what you want your focus on. I like to personally do featured videos. So, cause I do a lot of YouTube. So you could do, I just suggest doing some sort of featured section. Um, keep it really thin. You don't want this to be more than like one extra scroll or like a half a scroll. And then you can have your feed below. But I would say your feed would be the kind of the last thing on the page because it's long. Um, so if you want something featured, put it above. So for me, I would do, I just went ahead and added this title already. I would go ahead and like for me, I would add a video block. Um, let's add that here. I'm just going to do two of them. Let's say I want two featured videos. Um, I already have a couple pulled up on YouTube, so let me just grab those really quick, pop those in. And bam, okay, so I'll have my featured videos here. Now this is of course manual, so you would have to come in and change these out. I like doing this because I like to kind of choose what videos I have featured. This is a horrible example because these videos have different aspect ratios, obviously. So let's just for the sake of what we're doing right now, put the same two in here. Okay. So yeah, you could make yourself a little featured section. You could even do this. You could say, you know, featured posts, and then you could add your embed block. So say you didn't want these videos, you could add your, or your code block, either one, um, over here. And then what you could do is you could go back into that Elf site plugin. You could create, let's say you just wanted to feature Instagram and you could under those settings, choose that you only want to show four posts, um, adjust the width and it'll pop in right here. So you could have that it could, and you could have it set to where it's showing the four most recent. So you can make that way more automated with the Elf site plugins as well. But that's just how I like to do it. Feature some stuff at top so people aren't just overwhelmed with this feed and you have your whole feed below. Uh, cool. Okay. I hope that helps because Instagram does not have great options. Instagram. Oh my goodness. Uh, Squarespace does not have amazing options for, um, for doing these feeds. They have an Instagram block and that's it. And it's honestly doesn't up update very well. So anyway, hope you enjoy. Hope it's helpful.